Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Reef Life. Today I want to show you a couple of things that have changed inside the tank. Not that much though. Uh, I added a new fish yesterday, which is still getting used to the tank. More on that later. But if you've read the title, you'll already know that it's uh, a new regal angel fish, or a Pijoplites dicantus, uh, as the official name goes. Uh, it's a captive bred one, it's still very small, but we'll uh, zoom in on that uh, a bit later in this video. Uh, first of all, a, uh, a generic uh, general uh, update on the tank. Um, everything is uh, is doing well, so over the past week everything has been, uh, been uh, kind of steady and stable, uh, not much uh, happening, uh, which is of course a good thing if you're keeping a reef tank. Stability is key, so as long as things don't start acting up, uh, you're happy, uh, as long as the corals keep growing, of course, and the fish are healthy. Um, if you uh, see my last couple of videos, uh, you'll, know, you'll see, obviously, that I've changed my sand or cleaned my sand, actually a bit of both. Uh, last week I did a bit of cleaning. And this week I've added a whole bag of ATI Fiji white sand, which is a one to two millimeter. Uh, so it's not super, super fine. Uh, but, so the grains are a bit bigger than, uh, than sand. So it's more like a crushed rock type of uh, sand. Uh, but that's, uh, that's the way I like it. Um, if, the, if the sand is too, uh, too the, if the particles are too small, then they will start uh, waving around or blowing around in the tank uh, whenever the uh, the current is getting a bit too uh, too strong uh, so this is actually the sand that I've been using for a couple of years now uh, the ATI Fiji White um, it's kind of dusty when you get it out of the uh, out of the bag so make sure to rinse it um, uh, well thoroughly when you're adding this uh, to your tank um, what I usually do is I first rinse it with the uh, hot tap water and then after a couple of runs, four or five or six, uh, I start doing uh, two more rinses with uh, with reverse uh, osmosis water, RODI water, uh, and then I'll uh, take a, a, a bucket of uh, water from the tank and then do two more rinses with tank water, uh, just to make sure that all the uh, uh, yeah, all the dust is gone, and of course also the uh, the silicates silicates from the from the tap water have also uh, been removed so when you do that uh, it will still be a bit cloudy but that will clear up uh, within a couple of hours to uh, 12 hours and then the result will be like this so a very clean looking sand bed uh, and of course since it's still in um, uh, only for for 24 hours so I've added it yesterday in the afternoon it still looks very clean uh, but I'll try to keep this as clean as possible over the coming months uh, well, that's uh, enough about uh, sand. Let's get into the uh, the subject of the video, which is of course uh, the Pichoplites dicantus or the regal angelfish uh, that I had before in one of my previous tanks. Uh, actually, my last tank, I uh, I still had it. Um, unfortunately, back then I uh, I decided to uh, to sell it, uh, which I still regret. But uh, yeah, at that point, uh, my corals were uh, pretty much dying off. And the corals that I had left were soft softies, and the regal angelfish started eating away at those. So it was a a choice that I made, uh, but uh, well, not one taken lightly. Um, if you've looked with a close eye, you might have already seen it. It's on the very left of the tank, uh, so it's still getting used to the tank, and especially the tank mates, um, especially the uh, the copper band. Is uh, well not that friendly yet. So yesterday when I added it to the tank, uh, it was uh, immediately uh, attacking the, uh, the 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 pijo. As you can see right here in the middle of the screen, it's it's a bit hidey, <laughs> so it's a bit uh, uh, scared still, which I can understand if you're being harassed by a much larger uh, copper band uh, butterfly uh, fish. Uh, but I hope that will uh, will. Uh, that behavior will uh, will stop. Uh, yesterday it was on it 24/7. Uh, 
or the, or actually the whole time I mean and and now since uh, since today I've seen it going after it once or twice so I think uh, it also takes some uh, some getting used to each other and I can see why uh, since the uh, the Pijoplitas especially when they're still this young and this small uh, they do have some similarities with the uh, with the copper band so I can see why the copper band would see this as a kind of a threat um, but then again since yesterday things have calmed down already quite a bit and uh, as you can see it's uh, already a bit in the open swimming around uh, I've put a bit of mustic on the glass here so that's a product by Easy Reefs which is a very nice uh, food that I'm feeding uh, once every week um, and as you can see yeah well here it goes so now you can see it live not that friendly yet but then after it's after it's given a fair warning then it's okay and it just moves on it's not harassing it 24 7 so anymore so I hope that will uh, eventually calm down uh, over time and will give the regal angelfish uh, room and space to grow and to thrive um, I'm hopeful since normally Copper band butterfly fish are not that uh, not considered very uh, very aggressive. I've I've, I've definitely heard cases before uh, between uh, yellow tanks and uh, and copper bands because they also uh, share some uh, some features mainly the yellow color, but then it's usually the uh, the yellow tang uh, picking away at the uh, at the copper band and not the other way around so uh, I was quite surprised to see the copper band being so aggressive towards another fish uh, but then again uh, like I mentioned it's uh, already a lot less worse than it was yesterday so I'm fairly confident that the uh, the, the regal angel fish will, uh, will pull through and uh, yeah of course very curious to, to see how it will develop in this tank it's, it's a captive bred regal angel fish uh, which, which I mentioned before uh, which means that it has been uh, bred in captivity uh, obviously um, and they do tend to look a bit different from the uh, the classic ones that you get normally they are uh, caught in the Red Sea or in Un Indonesia um, and I think the captive breads uh, look somewhat more like the Indonesian ones um, which share a uh, somewhat more yellow fin uh, when they're uh, coming of age uh, instead of a more orange bright orange fin but then again these captive bred ones usually have different patterns on their bodies so uh, very curious to uh, to see how the uh, the pijo will uh, will develop and how the colors will uh, will uh, turn out to be because as you could see it was still a bit uh, well transparent actually and that's because they are still uh, there it's still a very young fish so yeah, uh, really stoked that I got it. I'm still a bit cautious because the copper band is uh, well giving it a bit of a, a rough time. Uh, but then again, it's been only a little over 24 hours, so I'll uh, I'll give it some time uh, to uh, to adapt to the tank life. And um, yeah, that's it for this week. Uh, overall, uh, I just last remarks that I wanted to share is that I'm uh, I'm very happy with the way the tank is uh, turning out to uh, to look. Um, I've always thought that if I could at some point reach the uh, uh, the beauty inside my new reef tank uh, that my uh, reefer 525 uh, was a couple of years ago, it would be a big accomplishment because it was one of my uh, well one of my proudest uh, moments uh, as a, as a marine uh, reef keeper. Um, but I have to say that the uh, well this is uh, turning out to uh, to be uh, well quite similar already and uh, that's uh, yeah something I can can really appreciate and uh, of course there's some niggles here and there uh, but uh, overall very uh, very happy with the way that the tank is uh, is developing um, so let me know what you think about the uh, regal angel fish if you like it or not um, if you have any tips um, on whatever subject you want to uh, to uh, to give me uh, tips on feel free to do so in the comments uh, also feel free to like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next video so for now uh, have a good week ahead of you and see you soon bye bye